Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to set the Voscam FI9826W. This is the indoor 1.3 megapixel with a 3x optical zoom IP camera. Now, you can use the IP camera tools that came on a CD that was shipped with the unit, or if you don't have a CD drive on your computer, you can always download the IP camera tools from the Voscam website. On the Voscam website, just head to the support section and scroll downward and you'll see the IP camera tool for either Windows or a Mac. So I've already downloaded this on the Macintosh computer. I'm just going to run it tool here. This IP camera tool automatically detected two IP cameras. So I'm just going to double click on the first one, the FI9826W. And right now Safari is telling me that I did not detect a plugin. So now I'm just going to click on this, download me, and now it's downloaded the plugin to my computer. I'm going to head to my downloads folder. Here's that plugin. Let's right click on here, open. I'm going to say yes, open this. Continue, just install this. And now it's been installed. Great. I'm going to head back. I'm going to close the web browser. I'm going to exit the Fosco website, close the file completely. And the Apple Camera Tool software again. I'm just going to double click on this FI9826W, relaunch the website. And that link over here that says plugin not detected is gone because now I've installed a plugin. So the default user ID is admin. The default password is blank. I'm just going to log in. And now there's a pop up that says remember to change your password. Okay. Hello. Now that it's logged in, what I'm going to do is go to settings. And first thing is important, most important thing is. Do exactly what I said before, change the password. So for administrator, so I'm going to double click on administrator, and now I'm going to choose change password. For where it says password, leave it blank because that was the default. New password, I'm going to put in a new password, and hit modify. Password changed successfully. So now we need to re log in. So, Okay, and I'm going to go to settings. Now, next important thing is that these are wireless IP cameras, so it's also important that I set the wireless on this unit. We click on network, then wireless settings. I'm going to scan. If I'm my network, I'm going to choose my network, put in my network password, and I'm going to hit save. Now, what I would recommend is don't use an SSID that contains spaces. So that's been saved. Next, I'm going to go back to the live camera. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down Safari, close the web browser, and I'm going to go unplug the Ethernet cable from my FOSCAM. I've unplugged the Ethernet cable from the FOSCAM, and only the power cable is plugged in. So here's the unit, an IP camera tool. I'm going to double click on this. Now it's saying, it basically found a new IP for this plugin. I'm going to say yes, trust. Put in my password. Now it's logged in. Okay. There you go. It's that easy. Set up very quick. From start to finish, it'll probably take anywhere from, let's see, five minutes to 10 minutes. From a high level, this camera is set up. You can just go plug it anywhere you want and just monitor the room. Now, if you want to continue watching this video, I'm going to demonstrate what else I do to set up my IP camera. So what I do is I go to settings, and what I like to do is also create a second account. So I'm going to click on number row number two. I'm going to create a username called Mega Man. I'm going to give it my password. And I'm going to give it the operator privileges, not visitor, not administrator, because with administrator, I have access to everything. Visitor, I can only view it. With operator, I can still pan, tilt, zoom. So I'm gonna give operator privileges and click add. Now I've done that. Next thing I like to do is for the PTZ, I really don't like it when it goes to home on a startup. Leave it as the way it is, where it's last position. I'm gonna hit save. Next is network, but I always like to assign my units their own unique IP address. So this one will give it 170. For the gateway, 
I'm gonna call this one 192.168.1.1 because that's what my router is using. 192.168.1.1. All right, I'm gonna hit save. I do this is because if I ever create port forty rules on my router, I always point to a specific IP address on my intro network for this FOSCAM. It's never going to change. Even if my, uh, my router powers down and powers back up, it's not going to try to assign a new IP address to this FOSCAM. So now it's at 170. I'm going to hit Trust, Log in. I just covered all the basic settings I set for my FOSCAMs. There are plenty of other settings you can choose to customize to your needs. If you want to set up FOSCAM in your router so that you can view it remotely, like on your work computer or on your mobile phone, Check out my other how-to video on setting that up. If you want me to make a separate video on just this unit, drop me a message. Well, thanks for watching Walker Hamster. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me.